What it really boils down to, though, with with any of it, it, with any of these situations, we have to decide. We have to decide for ourselves individually. Is this hero going to be good for my account? Only it's only game. Why you have to be mad? We've got this Orion Ascension increase. I knew that the improved skills were not going to dramatically impact how you use Orion. So we have two abilities here and Antimatter Blast is his, uh, let's pull this up here. Antimatter Blast is his blue ability, okay? This hits the nearest enemy and stuns them for four seconds. And then the Ascension skill stuns two more enemies. Stuns two more enemies. So, the first thing that I want to think about is, can I use Biscuit on this guy? And I don't think that I can. I don't think you can. Oh, you can use Biscuit. So you can use Biscuit with Orion and potentially use him as kind of an Ode stripper. That's something. Hitting three targets, stunning three of them. That's could, I guess. You know, having Mara on him would, uh, you know, extends the main stun up to eight seconds or, or uh, 12 seconds, whatever it is. And then this right here is extends it to like three seconds. That's kind of a low tier Kark on, on cooldown. That's kind of cool. That's something. You know, stunning the, the first position, the second and third position heroes with a magic attack is actually really nice. The thing that kind of makes Kark not so great right now, there's several things. But Kark's, uh, Kark's ultimate ability does no damage. He just... He just lands three stuns on three uh, three heroes. And then the the other skill that causes damage when enemies are knocked into the air, that causes the physical damage and that creates the dodge effect, which is counterproductive. You know, dodge, dodge heroes want to get dodged, especially they want to dodge huge chunks of damage like that. Because if you, man, if you dodge a Kark, if you dodge a Kark knock up, you... You save yourself so much damage and you get so much extra energy from that being converted to uh, uh, to energy. Prefer Merlin or Axel? Oh yeah, certainly. Certainly, Jif. Certainly. I'm just exploring different options. And then uh, Total Destruction. This is modifying his ultimate ability, right? Let's go back to him. Total Destruction is his ultimate. It fires six missiles at the uh, enemies with the highest health. Whenever an enemy is stunned or slowed, they receive a mark. And then whenever you use an ult, whenever he uses his ult, which he uses his ult a lot, Orion launches an additional rocket at the marked targets. So this, this is actually something interesting because the one thing that Orion has going for him, the one thing that Orion has going for him is this full charge ability, allowing uh, his uh, all of his abilities to do extra energy every time they every time they use an ability he gains extra energy and it's a lot so he ults very frequently he ults very frequently like a dodge hero would ult a lot right if he has a bunch of stunned enemies and then of course the i'm sorry the slow for the back line right he slows the back line and then he stuns the first position and then the two enemies behind him the way that this reads is that all five of those, all five of those heroes, the entire back line and then the front three, whatever that ends up looking like, they all get a mark. Now those marks can be removed with Sebastian. Sebastian can remove Foxfire marks. Sebastian can remove water marks, right? So Sebastian can remove them, but you're adding all of these marks. You might not even need Biscuit. Like you might not even need to have an Ode Stripper, Biscuit as an Ode Stripper on this guy because he's adding so many of these marks. It's a lot for, uh, it's a lot for Sebastian to keep up with. And then whenever he does ult, and he ults frequently, he's going to be sending more and more missiles. So the first time he ults, he might send out six missiles. The second time he ults, he might send out 11 missiles, right? One for every enemy that gets marked, that gets um, uh, slowed or stunned and then therefore marked. Uh, and then, uh, you know, the additional, um, the six that he would send out normally. But then, you know, not only that, the important... He is getting a little bit of uh, st skill adjustments as well. Uh, his stun ability is going to happen faster and happen more often, right? It's going to happen earlier in the fight. So the stun effect is going to go off earlier in the fight and it's going to happen more frequently. Higher damage output from this ability. Overall higher damage output. And then finally his, his slow effects to the back line is being increased as well. So a lot of people were hoping that this was going to some way counter Isaac. Somebody gonna counter Isaac, and obviously that's not gonna be the case. It right, reads like they can have multiple marks. 
Whenever an enemy is stunned or slowed, they receive a mark. The mark is applied even if the stun or slow has been blocked. The marks themselves are not removed or prevented by these effects and only one mark can be applied. Yeah, it says only one mark can be applied at a time. But it says right here, the marks cannot be removed or prevented by these effects. So can, can Sebastian and Celeste not remove the Orion marks, for the lack of a better term? So Poly T is absolutely right. Poly T says, if anything, he'll charge Isaac up even faster with the bouncing missiles on the next two heroes. And this is really the big problem. And, you know, I kind of touched on this earlier this week. Orion is a fantastic damage dealer. Very, very, very strong. Very strong. A well-rounded, he comes with his own magic penetration. If you give him good heals, just like you give uh, um, uh, a weak a weak damage dealer elsewhere, good heals, like Kira with Dorian, with Iris with Dorian, with Heidi with Dorian, you know, Orion with Dorian, keeping him alive, the amount of damage he, he puts out. You're not going to see Isaac on, you're not going to see Isaac on defense every time. Orion is not the first damage dealer that you level. He's not. He's another damage dealer that you add to your team. And he fits into a lot of teams. He fits into many, many, many teams. I would fit him in with uh, any team with Aurora, any team with really any magic damage, honestly. Uh, any any hero that does magic-based damage, not pure damage, not physical, I would add, I, I could add Orion to. So one of the teams that I would love to try, and by the way, his Ascension skills are not here yet, so we can't do max testing yet. As soon as they show up in here in-game in a couple of days, we'll be able to do some max testing with them. But man, I'm thinking about like, and this might be a little overkill, but I'm thinking about something like, um, like Aurora with Jorgen and this is on offense, obviously. We could do like Celeste and then you could do a control hero like Leon. This is a team similar to one that I used to run a little while ago. The, the damage output that he puts out, I don't know, you know, don't, don't pay too much attention to the pets. Uh, Orion spamming magic penetration for this whole team. Magic damage with pure damage, I guess. Magic damage, magic damage, magic damage. Uh, I would say actually not Leon. Whenever an enemy is stunned or slowed. So you know what you could do? You could put a stunner in here. No one better than Arachne. You could put uh, Laura in here. Laura does a ton of stuns. Laura does a ton of stuns. Uh, who else slows? Fox? Who else can slow? Orion and Judge will be teammates. Kai would be good. Yeah, Kai doesn't... Let's see. Let's take a look at Kai. So he does... It's magic damage. Magic damage. Pure damage. He doesn't stun or slow, though. But one of Kai's problems... One of Kai's problems is uh, he doesn't have any magic penetration. So, yeah, that, that could be one. I think that, um, you know, I think you could just use Helios with them. Helios doesn't really play into the stun and control, the stun and slow kind of thing. But Helios, you know, classically does go well with Orion. Chava can slow, Darkstar can slow, Judge will stun. Judge could be huge. Yeah. His ascension abilities add a ton of stuns, though. That could be it. The thing is, though, you probably don't want to lean into the stun slow for the additional healer, uh, the additional damage dealer, because Orion himself is going to be adding enough marks, right? If we look at, if we look at the way that this is worded, the marks, let's see, only one mark can be applied to an opponent at a time. The question that I have is, are the marks used up? Do they stay on there for the, for the duration of the fight? Do they, do the marks stay on for the duration of the fight or do they get used up, right? When they get hit by a missile? Because chances are, between antimatter blast and uh, the magnetic field, chances are he's going to hit the whole team with the mark anyway. So maybe you don't need another stun. You don't need another slow hero. You just go into it with, and then maybe you just flex the fifth position. Peppy, can Arachne Mara stun lock? Maybe you'd have to do it quick. You'd have. We, we'll definitely try it, Ben Little. It seems like Arachne is good anywhere. But I think you do these four. Obviously, don't attack Sebastian. I'm sorry, Isaac teams. You probably bring somebody to counter Iris. You probably bring somebody to flex in to counter Amira. You probably bring somebody in to counter, you know, maybe get, uh, maybe Helios is out of the out of the box. You use Helios. Armor artifact with the dodge artifacts. I mean, that's a lot of magic damage. You think you need Polaris or Arachne? Maybe better Polaris. Orion alone would not stun enough. 
only once. Well, the point, Faden, is that he only needs to stun to apply the mark. Once the mark is on there, his damage output goes through the roof. That's the, that's that's what I'm thinking. Peppy counters Iris. Does he? She? Uh, RPG Holic says the mark amplified damage. I'll have to see next week if my damage to Osh goes up. So the question is going to be, can you slow or stun Osh so that a mark will be applied? Yeah, Chorus is a team pet is good. So is Sebastian. Uh, Peppy's magic defense doesn't save you versus Iris at all, though. Iris doesn't actually do any magic damage. The Amira Heidi meta is wrecked by Or Or Orion Polaris. That's cool. Boldness protects Iris, or protects from Iris because of the Ascension skills. An ally affected by Boldness gets 25 less physical. I don't know how this affects Iris though, because Iris, Iris does pure damage. You can use Aurora, Celeste, Orion, Sebastian versus Isaac teams. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. That's the thing is we're gonna have to train this a lot. We're gonna have to try it out a lot and specifically try and get it against uh, some Isaac teams. What it really boils down to though, with, with, any of, it, it, with any of these situations, we have to decide. We have to decide for ourselves, individually, is this hero going to be good for my account? Do I love Orion? Do I like the look of Orion? Do I, do I really like the animations and how he interacts with my team, with my account? If the answer is yes, you should be leveling Orion anyway, right? The question on should you level them, and I mean you as in all of you individually, including myself, is do I have a use for him? Do I have a use? Now, there are uses for Orion, but do I have a use specifically for him? And will that require me leveling up two to three other heroes that maybe I wasn't planning on leveling up? A lot of you had mentioned Judge. I don't plan on leveling up Judge in the near future, so Orion Judge doesn't gonna work for me. Orion Polaris, though, Orion Polaris, if that's wrecking Amira Heidi teams, I prefer to level the counter than the meta. I would love to build the counter to Heidi Amira. That would be that would be something to consider there. If if uh, Orion Polaris is the um, the Heidi Amira counter into all be all, then yeah. But we'll have to play with it a little bit. And obviously, if you see more Isaacs than anything in your arena, then then Orion is going to be weaker for you than anything else.